Welcome to Utique Lifestyle. This is a wardrobe planning series in collaboration with So Much Fabric, where fabric is sewn into fashion. In this video, I'm going to show you how I modified McCall's 3892 to create my sailor short toile, and I will also show you the steps I took to pre-shrink the linen. So let's get started on how I create the sailor short toile. I had used McCall's 3892 to create my 70s inspired outfit. And since I had the toile for the pants, I thought I could just make a few markings and then recreate the toile for the sailor short. I was hoping I had the short side of the muslin, but I only had the full length side. So you will see me modifying the full length left side of the muslin. So the first thing I did was I slid on the toile and made three markings. The first one is the pocket, then the front panel, and then the hem. Here you'll see the pocket marking. And then I made a front panel marking. And then I made a marking where I wanted the hem to be. I used the ruler to draw in all the lines. So I drew in the hem line, the front panel line, which goes up to the waistband, and then the pocket flat line. So now I have all the lines I need for the sailor short. I am now going to transfer the lines to the back side. I place a toile on top of my tracing paper. And for the back panel, I'm only tracing up to the waistband. I'll trace the pocket line and then the hemline. And now you can see the lines on the back side. At this stage, I'm going to take the toile apart. I will use the old toile to create a new one. And we will start with a center front panel. I'm going to lay one muslin fabric on top of the other, lay the front panel piece on top, I will pin it together and then trace the front panel piece. When I flip it over, you will see the transferred lines. I'm going to add a 5 8 inch seam allowance to the sides that need it. I will transfer the pins to the muslin and then cut. I make sure to label every single piece. So here I have the left front panel and the mirror image is the right front panel. And I will label that as well. For the front top side, again lay it on top of two muslin fabric, pin, and then trace the lines. I will then flip it over, then add the seam allowance. Next, transfer the pins onto the muslin and cut. And then I will make sure to label, this is the left side, and then label the right side, which is the mirror image. I will use the same process for the front bottom side. Lay it on two muslin fabrics and then trace, transfer the pins and then flip it over, draw in the seam allowance, cut the front bottom panel, and label all pieces, making sure you distinguish the left side and the right side. Use the same process for the front side waist. And now you have all the muslin pieces for the front side. You will repeat this process for the back side as well. For the pocket flap, I cut it on the fold. Using the measurement for the front and back side when it's sewn together, I would add the seam allowance and cut out the flap. The flap is 2 inches in width. And for the pocket itself, it's the same width as the pocket flap and it is a little bit shorter than the hemline. I added a one inch cuff to the design so there are 11 total muslin pieces. I will sew the muslin together and you can view the process by watching part one. So after it's sewn together, I am going to try it on to make sure everything fits. When everything looks good, I'm going to take it apart. However, here, I took the left side completely apart, but the right side, I only took it apart at the side seam. I will later use the right side to cut out the lining. So my 13 pieces of muslin fabric will allow me to create 26 pieces of fashion fabrics. Before I cut into the fabric, I did prepare and pre-shrink the fabric. I followed the instructions in Sandra Batsina's book, Fabric Savvy under linen page 66. I will link the book down in the description box below. Step one, press the linen. The fabric will wrinkle less if you press first to set the formaldehyde. 
Step two, serge. I added this step in because I like to serge the fabric to prevent fraying when it goes through the wash. If you don't have a serger, you can always use a zigzag stitch. Step three, machine wash in warm water with detergent. Step four, machine dry at regular temperature with a towel and that will give the linen a slightly brushed appearance and a softer hand. And the final step is step five, press well before layout. Here I folded the fabric in half and then pressed. And now I am ready to lay out the pattern. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell for future notifications on new videos. Also, don't forget to watch part one, in which I show the process of how I sewed the fashion fabrics together to create my sailor short. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you got inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary.